You're good. Hey, it's 2 a.m. with Jason. Hope you're doing well. I um, want to talk more about uh, what the sermon was about. Micah chapter 4. If you didn't get a chance to see it on Sunday, I, I highly recommend you watch it. Um, it was a great encouragement to me as I was preparing for it and even as I was saying it that, that God has a plan. And I don't know if you need to know that today but or you know someone else that does, but but God has a plan and he has goodness in store and, and praise God. That, that he knows what's going on. And, and that was one of the points was that um, sometimes we get surprised by the ending and we don't know what's going to happen. And, and there is nothing that surprises God uh, that that is like, I didn't know that was happening. And um, it reminded me of a guy who was driving uh, home one night and he uh, saw a hitchhiker and said, you know, I'm be nice and I'll pick him up. And But as they were driving, he... Um, he started getting a little suspicious of this guy, but you know, I just gotta, I, I, I'm sorry. I just, I just don't feel comfortable, you know, taking you any farther. And so he has the guy to leave. But as he's asking the guy to get out, he kind of felt for his wallet and realized it's, it's not in his pockets. And so he said, give me the wallet, give me the wallet. And, and, and the hitchhiker looked kind of confused, but he handed him the, the, the wallet and he, he, he sped home and he jumped out of the car and ran in and said, honey, you will not believe what just happened. Here I was driving, there's this guy, and I thought he stole my wallet, and he did steal my wallet, but I got it back. At which point his wife says, honey, you left your wallet here this morning. What are you talking about? And I know some of you saw that coming. Good job. Uh, but but it's crazy because so often we jump to conclusions and we think, oh, this is what has to happen. And this is, and, and, and I, I, or, or I just wish, why didn't I see that coming I, uh, why there's kind of part of me, it's kind of part of me that thought maybe this might, um, and and yet we we don't we miss things, and praise God he doesn't, God doesn't miss stuff, he doesn't miss those little hints, he doesn't miss the the nuances of things, the God that that we serve, uh, the God of the Bible, is one who not only knows. He, he created all of this, all of it. And he says, I got a plan. And that's what he said in Micah chapter four. He says, I have a plan. They don't even know what's happening here, but I got a plan. And wait till you see, wait till you see what I can do with this. And so um, one of the things that I want to read to you the, tonight is in Psalms chapter uh, 147. I'm going to read a couple of verses here. And uh, I, I think it ties well. Um, it starts off with verse one it says, praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise Him. Um, verse 3, He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up their wounds. Verse 4, He determines the number of stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain. He makes the grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and, and for the young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of horses, nor in the delight of the legs of a warrior. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. I, I like the couple of different things. There. I like the idea that, that God... Um, it is pleasant for us to sing praises to him. To say, God is all about you. Uh, I like, then down there, he says, he determines the number of stars. Like, and, and, and look at that. He determines the number of stars and calls them each by name. So he says, how many stars are we going to do? Which ones am I going to send shooting? Which ones am I going to put in this black hole? What, what? He determines that. And so when we start looking at the perspective of, does he know about me? Does he know what I feel? Does he know what I care God is operating on a whole different level than us. And we can trust him there because as it goes down here, great is the Lord and mighty power. His understanding has no limit. And as we sing to him, he, he sends the clouds. He sends the, he makes the grass grow, he provides the food. But what does he receive pleasure in? It's not horses. It's not strong warriors. It is, he delights in those who fear him and who put their hope in his unfailing love. So my challenge to you is this, the, the God who, who knows the stars and the universe and keeps all that running, he desires for you 
to put your hope in his unfailing love because he has love for you. He cares about you in the situation that you're in, 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 in the pain that you're in. He cares about you. He knows it. His understanding has no, no limit. And he cares. His unfailing love is what he wants you to put his hope, your hope in today. So please, um, dear God, I ask you to help us. Help us to put our hope in your unfailing love today. And I ask God that you would come through in ways that you ha maybe haven't before. Help us, dear Lord, as we trust you, that you would continue to show yourself faithful. Continue to show yourself as the God who is <laughs> the, the master of the universe. Um, and even when you tarry, dear Lord, we know that you are working for our for our best and for our on our behalf. You are an amazing God, dear Lord. All praise and glory to you. In your name we pray, amen. Till tomorrow night.